A doom and gloom day here at the Star in Frisco, Dallas Cowboys headquarters on a Monday where it's about 39 degrees and it's rainy and blicky. Um, you know, I mean, we got we got Christmas trees and stuff, but we also have a Dallas Cowboys overtime loss at Green Bay to dissect and a look forward. And this is outrageous to me, Mike Fisher reporting on your Dallas Cowboys. Mike McCarthy a few weeks ago coined the phrase, we're nobody's underdogs. Uh, we've got the T-shirts, by the way, in the Uncle Fish store if you want one. <laughs> it's great. Uh, it, it's a great quote. It was very uh, appropriate for the time, and it's appropriate again. Get a load of this, and I mean no disrespect to the Dallas Cowboys here, when I say, wait, what? The Dallas Cowboys at Minnesota next week, after what just happened this weekend, the Cowboys with a come from ahead overtime loss and the Vikings with a spectacular overtime win at Buffalo. Guess who's favored Sunday at Minneapolis? Not the Vikings. What? Uh, I don't waste a lot of time around here pretending to understand the inner workings of the odds makers thinking when it comes to setting point spreads and favorites and whatnot. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just here for my looks. I'm not smart enough for any of that. But I do know that if you put too much real money on a game that's, uh, and you do it in a way that's in conflict with the odds maker's prediction, and you do it too often, you'll end up living in a cardboard box under a bridge. With that in mind, the Dallas Cowboys are stunningly, to me, two-point favorites at the Vikings as they try to put their Green Bay hangover <clears throat> behind them and prep for the Week 11 showdown at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. What did Minnesota do to earn enough respect from us that these odds seem ahem surprising? Well, they, they won the game of the week, game of the season, game of the decade at Buffalo, uh, and they're 8-1. and one. What did the Cowboys do to have us pondering whether or not they deserve this lofty perch they just suffered a deflating overtime loss at the Packers in Mike McCarthy's return to Lamb Blow, and the Cowboys have dropped to six and three. The, the Vikings are establishing that they're in the argument for best team in the NFC as we sit here today, and the Cowboys are trying trying to hang on to a top six slot in the NFC. Six and three isn't better than eight and one. Being on the road isn't better than being at home. Uh, Minnesota's ability to control Josh Allen to some degree and his offense to six points in the second half, that seems significant. Dallas's inability to stop the run, Green Bay shoved it down your throat. Common occurrence lately, racking up 207 yards. Is that not significant? Green Bay threw it only 20 times in that game, but three of those were from raggedy Aaron Rodgers to nobody rookie Christian Watson. If Dallas can't figure out how to guard Christian Watson, how are they going to figure out how to guard the magnificent receiver from Minnesota, Justin Jefferson? It would seem the odds makers are not buying any Vikings hype, while Cowboy Nation hopes this is about something more than same old Dallas hype. Earlier this year, Mike McCarthy said, we're nobody's underdogs. And you know what? Now it seems like, given the odds makers' thoughts on Dallas at Minnesota, Truer words were never spoken at the Star in Frisco with the Cowboys fish out.